with just these four tools i've been able to level up my videos from this to this and in this video i'm going to show you how to achieve this and trust me you are not spending any money to buy any equipment or gs this video is particularly for those that are not creating content yet because of the following reasons i don't have a camera or a phone with decent camera i don't have a microphone yet I don't have a space or nice room to create my videos. I don't have a high performance laptop to edit my video. I'm currently shooting my video with just my phone. And the audio you are listening to right now is also from the same phone. And I don't even have a nice room or a nice space to create my videos. And this is the laptop I currently use to edit all of my videos. And this laptop cannot even handle most of the popular editing software. Plus the fact that most of these software are paid to. But with the help of these four tools I'm about to show, I was able to create decent videos with just my phone. Now, one thing you should understand as content creator is that what makes up a good video is the audio and the visuals. So you can do away with the visuals, but one thing you cannot do away with is the audio. And now, if you're a small content creator and you don't have a microphone yet, or you don't have the money to buy a microphone yet, that is where this first tool will come into place: Adobe Podcast Enhancer. So what this tool simply does is that it takes your trash audio and it uses ai to enhance the audio and make it sound like a podcast setup or as if you're using an expensive microphone so to get started what i just do is that i record my videos with just my phone and with no microphone attached to it and then i extract the audio from the video and then upload it to adobe podcast and answer it apply to the audio then i sync the audio and the video together while editing the videos with my editing software now the second tool is adobe firefly right now this video you are watching all of the things you are seeing in the background of this video are actually fake this is the background of the video initially and this is the background after implementing adobe firefly adobe firefly has a lot of tools and the tools we're focusing on is this generative tree now here's the way i personally use the adobe firefly first i color grade my videos using my editing software of choice CapCut. then i export a still frame of the video that is a picture of any part in the video upload the exported image to adobe firefly generative feed then I remove the parts that I want to add some objects to in the background. Then I tell the AI to whatever background I want. For example, an office with office decor, shelves, etc. Click on generate. And this is what the tool was able to generate. If I'm satisfied with what was generated, I download the image. Then edit the image as my video background to produce what you are saying on the screen right now. If you want me to create a separate video showing the step-by-step -step process, let me know in the comment section below. Meanwhile, if you find this video helpful, smash the like button and also subscribe to the channel. It will help this video get more views. I really appreciate that. Now at number 3, we have CapCut. CapCut is what I use to edit all of my video. And the reason I'm using CapCut is because of it is absolutely free and it can perform well with any laptop. Even though you don't have a laptop with a good processor, you can still edit your videos with CapCut. And the best thing about CapCut is that you don't need to know how to edit or you don't need to know how a lot about editing before you can start using CapCut. You can learn how to edit your videos with just CapCut in less than an hour. And if you want to start learning how to edit videos, you can start with CapCut and gradually move to other more advanced tools. And another reason you should be using CapCut is that there are lots of primitive templates, text effects, text template, auto caption. The auto caption is actually good. I use this to caption my shots. You also got free to use stickers emojis and a lot more you can put in your videos it turns of effects that will normally require a lot of editing with other software amazing filters you can use and some of these filters can be used as a color grading tool and you even got this adjustment option to color grade your videos yourself and there are also tons of lots you can use there are a lot of free sound effects you can use the ones i often use is this whoosh sound anytime i make a sideways transition or I bring objects to the screen and the pop sound effects whenever a text or object pops on the screen so what do you not like about CapCut? there are lots of templates you can start using not just for youtube alone for all social media and the good thing is that most of this is free like it shouldn't be free but it's absolutely free and lastly we have 
Canva. So if you don't know how to use Photoshop, you don't know anything about graphics designer, then Canva is for you. Canva is what I used to create all of my thumb YouTube thumbnails, all of the graphics you are seeing in this video, and they are just the tool that you should be using if you don't know anything about graphics designing. What I specifically use Canva for is to create my YouTube thumbnail because I know little about Photoshop and also Photoshop is not free. Whereas I can create my thumbnail on Canva in less than 5 minutes. I can also use this tool to create your channel logo or some cool profile pictures and also your channel banner. So you don't actually have reason, any reason for not creating content yet. If your reason is being that you have a camera, you don't have a good background, or you don't have a nice room to create your videos, or your camera, phone camera is not good. If that's the reason you are not creating videos, then you need to change your mind and start creating videos with whatever you have right now. And with that to your phone that you think the camera is not good, you can create the sense videos with it. You just have to start and then gradually you begin to see that you can improve on what you are creating for example someone like me i also think that my phone camera cannot create video and prowler that what i'm using to create this video right now gradually i'm improving on my videos even now if i watch all of my old videos i'll be like ha ah, nah and i'm beginning to enjoy the videos that i create gradually so if you're not creating videos yet because of gears because of tools and all that so you have to just start creating content with just your phone and and i wish to see the content you all are creating so that's it for this video i hope you find the video helpful my name is victor smith and i'll see you guys in the next one